The family of a seven-year-old boy is demanding answers after their child nearly died at a Maryland school. Parents say their son was hung by an older student while he was in the bathroom. The school district says the students were just horseplay. Alexis Wainwright spoke with those parents and shares their story. You look at my son, he has marks under his eyes, he's like still, blood vessels. He still has bruises on his neck from being choked. It's hard to hide emotion as these two parents who don't want to be identified talk about their son. They're hoping for answers after they say their son was hung by a fourth grade student in the boys' bathroom Friday. He's traumatized. Right. It's going to take time. This yeah. is not something that he's going to get over just overnight. Paperwork from the hospital lists one of his injuries as a neck contusion, which is caused by blunt trauma to the neck. The seven-year-old is a second grader at C. Paul Barnhart Elementary School in Waldorf. Charles County Public Schools says they're aware of the incident and sent a statement saying in part, two of our students were reportedly horse playing in a school bathroom when one student's jacket got caught on a stall door hook. The student was not able to free themselves and the other student involved was also not able to help them. It doesn't make sense to me. If you're horse playing, how do you get caught on a hook? Like I'm. We need answers. I want answers and we won't stop until we get answers. And now the parents say they're sharing their side of the story in hopes of preventing this from happening to anyone else. My son did tell me that when they were in the bathroom, he said that the little boy told him, I'm going to show you how I did people back in the day. That's why I feel like it's bullying because it's no telling how many other kids this has happened to. And they want the school district to step up. I want to see a policy in place. I would like to see at least hallway monitors. I want to know why is a fourth grader in the same hallway or the same bathroom as the second grader. Most schools have them divided. I feel like this is very unacceptable. These are all our children and they are the future. So we just like we need to protect them. Like we sending our kids to schools every day thinking that they are safe.